and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Augmented Demacia. It's going to be our third deck for our Demacia day, which is us playing a bunch of Demacia decks today. Uh, this is our next one that is a Fiora and Garen deck for our champions. This deck is basically my Demacia midrange that I've been playing that, that I really like, but we're splashing P and Z for five cards. Um, and because, you know, like we are a Vanguard Bannerman deck, so we don't want to splash too much, but we're splashing for five cards. First, we get Mystic Shot. So we get this really good uh, versatile removal spell that can also go upstairs and everything. You know, like Mystic Shot's just really good. So we got we got these in here. And then the main reason why we're splashing this color is Augmented Experimenter. Um, because these the Demacia deck's good at curving out and everything, but it doesn't have... Uh, card advantage and so it can't really play a late game but that's what the experimenter can do it's going to be the last card that we play because whenever we play it we discard our hand so it's the last card so we don't have to discard anything and then draw three deal three to an enemy unit so we can use this as a as our draw three and refill our hand um so that should be pretty interesting it's it doesn't play like super well with like a bunch of barriers that you have to like wait a while to play um but hopefully it's just going to be like our last card that we play um anyway uh that's our that's our deck so let's see how this version works because we're playing a bunch of different demacia decks today um next one we're gonna have another barrier deck we're gonna play the uh fiora shen version the bannerman deck definitely felt very good All right, we're going to replace that for now and probably replace this for now. <clears throat> Looks like these Iceborne Spiders decks are, are pretty popular. Opponent's playing. Come closer. I don't fight. I don't really trust Elise. This poor guy. They would fall by my blade. Stay away from my pets. <laughs> Oh, Mark of the Isles makes this dumb by me. I should have just I should have gotten the Elise. Alright, Glimpse Beyond, that's fine. You don't know if you should make the Shen Fiora deck or the Vlad Braum deck? Now you've gone set it. I haven't been super impressed with Shen playing against Shen. This will be my first time playing with Shanna. Safeguard our citizens. It's my first time trying it today. I'm not sure what this attack's all about. I'm not going to block with the Fiora here, though. I'll just block with the Bannerman. I 
So I wanted to keep the Spiderling alive so that I could challenge the Spiderling, but now I wish I would have just blocked it with the 4-3. She can. She's not impressed. That's pretty good. For the honor of Run, run them through. Uh -huh. No, no Karma Thresh today. I'll probably be a few days again before I play that. I usually uh, switch up decks um, a whole lot and try to play, try to play everything. And so I don't, I don't normally play. Um, let me try to fix this camera. That's there we go. That was lagging. Um, I usually like trying to play everything, and so I don't usually play the same decks uh, that close together, but come on, that's their third elixir of iron. This will be cool. So probably a little bit before I play that deck again, but it's the deck's awesome. I really like it for sure. Yeah, I haven't I haven't ever played a Yasuo deck, so yeah, that would be a good deck to play. Because I haven't, yeah, I haven't played a Yasuo deck before. Because we just got the Yasuos. That was my last champion. Yeah, def yeah, I definitely played Lux, Lux and Anivia decks. Um, definitely played those before. Ones that I've liked. Yeah, I think there are good. I think there are good Lux and Fiora decks. Or Lux and Anivia's. Um, yeah, the Mage Seeker Lux deck is good. That was the last one that we played. As far as Lux decks goes. Our last Anivia deck... Would have been the War Mother's Ramp. That version, though, had 
at least that version that I was playing had um, the Elnox in, and of course the Elnox just got nerfed. This deck's kind of a different Anivia deck that's pretty cool, like where the the um, the goal is just to like clone Anivia as much as possible. Um, oh, fearsome, right? Do not waver. What is strength without style? Lady Elise, where are you? On down. Honor guide me. Probably a bad attack, but I actually don't really mind it too much. I don't really mind getting rid of these things. Sure. So, basically, my plan here, like after that turn, is is it's Garen. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? Garen is my plan. No, heart, no. Um, she's just barking because there's uh, my neighbor outside is getting their their mowing their lawn outside, and so she's just barking a bunch because of that. I'm trying to teach her not to do that. See, there she is, right there. She's sitting up. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> she is so cute. All right, so having these fight like this so that there we go so the reason to do that is so that they didn't just get to do damage to me and then we're able to atrocity it so that was going to die in combat um and so they were not going to be able to atrocity and, and just kill me with an, with an atrocity
And so that's why we went that route. My Garen was going to die. But they weren't going to be able to win. We were going to have priority next and attack with all of our stuff. All right, some more spiders. Spider's been pretty popular today. Ooh. It's hard to mulligan double. It's hard to mulligan the bannermans, but you kind of need to play creatures on turn two and turn three. Not draw the one of back to back and then a barrier that I just mulliganed. I need creatures. Yeah. That's a creature. Eat up, friend. Stutter out from the darkness. Whoa! Hey! That's a pretty good draw. Because it's it's a PNZ card, it's not a Demacia card, so because we we really want to draw a Demacia card next turn. So yeah, I got rid of those things. My true beauty is beneath the skin. How many spells do we have in this deck? We have 10 spells in the whole deck. All right, so we got five of them in our hand right now. A symbol worth fighting for. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's wreck it! Yeah, it's a, it's a, it has been a quiet chat day today. Spiders. Yeah, I do like I like I do like Arena Battlecasters voice lines and everything. That is a nice um nice touch. So this is nine damage coming in. Should put them down to six. I have this card that does six damage. So that would put them down to zero. So let's see what do they got. Nothing. We're two and zero. But we saw how good like Mystic Shot was there, though. Like Mystic Shot for that Arena Battlecaster was was really important because imagine them attacking with that Arena Battlecaster and with all those spiders that were gonna have Challenger. Like that was, was kind of a nightmare. And so Mystic Shot. Keeping that from happening. It's back-to-back -back 
kept overperforming, but I don't want it in my opener. And we'll get rid of that too. I'm gonna keep the barrier. No. Bird that stops our bird. There's always a way out. Feed the Masia. Walk softly, strike quickly. Let's see. Doesn't really matter how I do this. It's certainly possible I just shouldn't even use the other Fleet Feather Tracker. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with it. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. That was that was the thing that I should have I should have pumped up the the two one on the warships that was gonna fight the one one, so and then barrier the that one. Yeah, you're right. That was that was the line. Yep, you're right there, Blade. That was the line. Justice for Demacia. The dark beckons. Charge! Feel the sizzle. Eat up, friend. Eat up, friend. You cannot escape. So if they have twin disciplines, I think I am just going to go Prismatic Barrier. No, no twin disciplines. I think all they could have would be Elixir of Iron for, for this, so that shouldn't save them. So this is the second time Garen strikes. So now we get to rally on this very next turn. Assume the five three is gonna block my two three, then we can we can just repost it. It's not lethal if I repost the barrier, the bright seal protector. So all right, fair enough. Not know the name Laurent. 
<laughs> sure does, Rex. There's some chat noise right there. Um. Basically, I wanted to do it this way because I wanted both of these creatures to be lethal and they could only block one. Demacia cards are good. Oh, that's good. Are you doing the dishes before the wife gets home? That's good. That's good. <laughs> What's up, A word? As someone was saying earlier that the chat's pretty quiet today. Yeah, yeah, Award's been in here recently. Yeah, Award knows knows the game. Get rid of our sixes and our five. And even this isn't really a Mystic Shot matchup. Just one new hand. I'm one, two, here. three, four, five. We can power. count. And there's our six drop. We figured out how we're going to be curving this game. Break their spirit and their sword. Yeah, it's basically Fiora Day. The Bannerman Zed deck didn't have Fiora, but the rest of them did. But the, these other three all have Fiora. I'll take the two for one. No, it whiffed. That's bad, because I don't want to draw either of the P and Z cards right now. Ugh. I would have rather had... I would have rather had Mystic Shot. I don't want them to have anything that gave the plus three toughness and stay alive. So we'll see what we do with all these single combats.
salute. Everywhere I go, the light follows. She, she's just always bragging about that. We stand strong. Don't know what their plan is. Besides, like, another judgment. Can't fight on an empty stomach. But that doesn't... It doesn't save them. All right, we 4 and 0. We're up to number 30. With our augmented Demacia deck. Not amazing either. I probably should have kept that Vanguard card. I probably should have kept that one. Ah, we drew it again. Vanguard Redeemer, that was the name of it. Little birdie. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. <laughs> so, plan right now is just basically to go wide and play Bannerman, make my things bigger. But this game has started exactly how my opponent would like it to start, so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for us to win this. Ooh, Garen can do some work. Oh dang, Zuvar playing for about a month and still haven't gotten a Hecarim yet. Yeah, it's tough to control the champions that you get, you know, unless you just use your shards. You know, just If you just save up your shards and get your champions that way, you can do that, but... <laughs> your Shadow Islands is level 18, too. Ouch. True Felyorian welcome. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand strong. We stand strong. I demand 
That was good for us, but I mean, if you just kind of look at cards in hand, they still have nine cards in hand. I do not have so many cards. Of course, three of their cards in hand are Mushroom Clouds, but they can. We stand strong. It's not bragging if you could I don't know. I shouldn't out. have played that. I should have just passed. Yeah, I should have just passed. Because, like, they're obviously going to kill the, the protege. And so, like, my plan was to play this after they kill the protege. But then I should have had the bannerman after I play the redeemer. So, basically, this redeemer is going to just be a 3-3. Three, three. But it should be... Just going to be a 3-3, three, three, but it should be a 4-4 four, four if I would have sequenced that correctly Feed Demacia. Yeah, Jinx is really good. Yeah, discard aggro, that's a good one. That's a good deck. Just pumping up my smallest creature because you know, they're just going to have harsh winds and stuff like that. So close. We came so close to killing them. Ugh. Need single combat was the card I needed. Well, I just hope I'm not dead. There's a very good chance that I am dead, though. That's how broken Ezreal is. Just 18 life. Just gone. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Attacks for six. Can't stop me. Firing. And now we're dead. Oh, we didn't die. No. Come on. I guess if I would have back to back to that, then they couldn't have cast that thing. I guess I need to do that. So just back to back that immediately. I don't know. They may have just had another spell in hand. Shazreel is so broken. Disgusting. Well, 
We needed a single combat that last time. Do I want so Garen Fiora? I think I'm just gonna keep all this. I don't think there's anything I really want to mulligan. Yeah, we're just gonna keep this. <clears throat> we're gonna be having Fiora battles versus each other. You can't do that. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. By my honor, you must die. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Without worry. So yeah, I'll, I'll take two toughness away from my Fiora <clears throat> and deal two damage to them to get a Prismatic Barrier out of hand. I think that's worth it. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Try me. What, do they get to do the same trade? Demacia is like, why did MTG? I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. I wouldn't say this version is really like a white weenie deck because we're we're going bare we're going bigger with like you know we have all these like barriers and stuff. Um, I never hold. Oh God. A tragedy. Is it better to play Garen? Show them our strength. What is strength without style? Um, so far I've I've liked it as far as like this deck compared to the pure Demacia version. Um, but to be honest, we haven't we've gotten we haven't like played augmented experimenter at all. M Mystic shots was good. So they have repost. Like their plan is repost. So 
So my plan is just normal barrier. What if I should just single combat and so they see I get two for one. What if I single combat and trade these? I keep Fiora. Let's do that. This will be quick. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of awkward that we have to get rid of these barriers before we get to Experimenter. Hey, we got a big time raid. Jeroa with the raid. Welcome everybody from Jeroa's stream. We are currently playing a whole bunch of Demacia decks today. All that Demacia day. Um, this version is Demacia Splash PNZ for Augmented Experimenter. Pharaoh, okay. So Jero, my bad, my bad. Jero. Awesome, what, what were y'all playing before this? So we got two fewer kills so far. Okay, Iceborne Spiders. Yeah. Okay. Got a top 32 with it. Nice. Yeah, that deck's good. That deck's good. I. What do you think of Iceborne Legacy? Do you think it's better now or worse? Obviously, the, you know, like the... The six mana spider spell, turning that into a five drop now, that's definitely upgraded the deck for sure. But I'm not I'm not so sold on the actual Iceborne Legacy being better as a slow speed spell. Ouch. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, did we? Did we get mashed up? That's a problem. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I do think it's probably better than Pack Mentality for that deck. Um, I agree there. But yeah, it's worse now than it was before, but it's what we have to work with. A That's a path to get you. good call. Sure, you just gotta work with what you got. All right, this doesn't seem so bad. All we have to do is survive this attack and then and then try to have Fiora kill one of these other things the next turn, and we got to double the repost to protect Fiora. So this doesn't seem so bad. If we actually had to do 18 points of damage, we would we would be in a lot of trouble. Boy. 
we don't actually have to do 18 points of damage. No closer. It's me taking six. Is there really any difference between taking 10 and taking 16? Like probably not. Uh, probably not really a difference here. I'll stop you. That's true. Back to back could kill me if I would if I wouldn't block. Oh my gosh, Fiora's gonna die! Oh my gosh. The problem with streaming while playing, oh, I completely forgot about that, that thing getting plus one and my Fiora dying and I could have protected it. Whoops. That happens. Oh well. <laughs> yep. Whoops. I think I could have won that one. Yeah, I just repost there, and then I have repost on the way back. The thing is, is like if they have like another barrier like on the way back though, so my Fiora doesn't kill, doesn't win. It's gonna be really tough for me to survive another attack. So Demacia PNZ with no champ. Use, use some non five mana creatures. What is this? The Mola gonna weigh double Lancer and we draw a double Lancer and a back to back? Oh, I didn't attack. Yeah, Augmenter and Mystic Shot. I see. So they're the Mage Seeker deck. I'm just going Mage Seeker with no locks, no, no champions at all to to kind of throw you off. Man, what a terrible first four turns for me. We've just drawn four out of the five cards we've drawn have been five plus mana cards. Opponents playing against the rules. They're playing all these illegal cards. To the base. Hmm. Just means they're not going to block my Garen. they are going to block the Garen. Never mind. What is that?
So the good news is though these five fives will have two and three toughness respectively, and so it'll be a little easier for my other creatures to be able to block them. No, nobody can believe that either. I won't back down. So soon. All the innovations. Thanks, Award. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I've been playing Legends of Runeterra instead. I think this game is a better game than Magic. I wrote about that a few weeks ago. Let's see. So if I play Garen, I got five mana left. Justice for Demacia. Look at. So anybody else look at Lauren Protege's arm and wonder how it can even bend it? Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't seem like it would bend. <laughs> it is some ridiculous muscles. That is a pretty ridiculous arm. Does this count as striking for Garen? You know, there's a barrier. No, it does not. Oh, it does. Sweet. Good. Yeah, I would recommend my Karma Thresh list to climb with kind of a caveat. I just have to understand that it is a very difficult deck to play. And... It is a difficult deck to play. Choco, what's up? And so, like... Like, I think it's very, very good. But the the margins between winning and losing are pretty small with the deck. Another deck that I also believe is very good and one that I would... Um, It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, also one that I'd really recommend to climb with is the Bannerman Zed that we played earlier. Um, the Bannerman Zed's a lot more straightforward and still very good. Oh, yeah, that, that didn't work out. Yeah, that, that didn't work out. Made up. You can count 
on me. Break their spirit and their sword. Yeah, Darius Elise Aggro is a definitely a good deck to start climbing with, like whenever you first start playing. But it's still also just a, a pretty decent deck in general. <sighs> I wish I didn't block with that Garen now. I wish I just didn't block with that Garen and would have just taken it. I thought with having the back to back that it would have been safe, but if I would have just just played creatures and attacked that turn and then gone to this turn and then would have been able to attack again. It's just it's hard to go down to five against the PNZ deck though. We don't know that there's no rewards for ranked. I mean, that's... To the field. Yeah, I... I absolutely believe there will be rewards for ranked. I can't, I can't imagine there won't be. They've drawn every single one of their six mana spells. Like the the key card of their deck, they've drawn all six of them in their 15 cards. I mean, I can complain about it, but I, I just shouldn't have blocked my Garen. I mean, I... So yeah, like it's... Again, my decision of something I did there. Man, we're down to four and three now? Oh, these are winnable games that I'm not winning. This is a difficult... This is a very difficult game. You know, you make a couple of wrong decisions. By, by a couple, I mean, like, really one. You make any, like, wrong decision, and it just costs you so much. Yeah, the all these games that we're losing are really close. That was also, if you remember, our mulligan was horrid, if you remember, with that game, like, where we had all five mana cards and we couldn't do anything for a long time, and it let... It gave my opponent a lot of time to set up with their really expensive deck. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Feed Demacia. Who does not know the name Laurent? At least we got two tricks out of their hand for just the price of one of mine. I 
I don't really like Judgment or Bright Steel. I would prefer Judgment out of the two. I think Bright Steel is too expensive. Um, we're going to be playing Bright Steel in the Barrier Midrange deck up later, though. You're covered. So we'll have some more some more info about that. She can. She's not impressed. Gets to drive. One of us gets to attack. Your move. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. So this gives me a blocker for war chefs now. They want to attack with war chefs. Feel the sizzle. Aha. I never hold. Oh God. Eat up, friend. without worry hey pools I'm doing pretty good yeah feeling better we're going for the, the full stream today we're on a third deck all ready And so yeah, kind of going for a full stream today. Your move. All right. Well, they got me. Thanks. Yeah, I'm happy to feel to be feeling better too. Ooh, double bannerman. Soldier, to me. You 
Blood Toast. Sure. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Ooh, that's a good one. That was maybe like the best elite to hit. <clears throat> yeah, we're just hitting pretty well. I mean, besides the fact that, of course, they have... This bright steel formation. And they just get to eliminate four creatures. So let's let them Fiora kill this thing. We strike. Can't fight on an empty stomach. They can have the five four kill this thing. I know the name Laurent. She She's not These Vanguard Redeemers have been amazing. Show them our strength. What is strength without style? Boo. So that was the last card in hand. They couldn't cast this whole time. That was it. So basically, I hope I hope that the the elite that they get is one that costs more than four mana. You know, they could definitely get a five mana elite or a six mana with Cythria. Hope they get one of those. And then, then we have lethal. Everything I've worked for. Pass back. No. Crappy one four. Bleh. I don't even have good attacks. 
because Garen's gonna kill me. Lead our talk. Demacia, now and forever. Right on. Rose. Stand strong. Shield up. Don't back down. Um, what does Swiftwing say? Create an elite in hand? So I, I guess so. It does say create an elite in hand. So Garen is an elite. Can it? I'm not sure. I definitely thought that we were going to be winning this. Like after, you know, like we got rid of like their, like that turn that they, you know, they had nothing. We got rid of the Bannerman, but then, you know, they drew that Garen, and Garen just dominated. I thought we were going to be winning it, though. Defend our banner. Thought we had this game. The morsel of... Show them our metal. I'll stop you. Fall by my sword. It just says create an elite in hand. We just looked at it. That's what it. That's those are the exact words. Create an elite in hand. We can get back to it. Create an elite in hand. We do what is right. GG Garen, GG. So if it says create an elite in hand and Garen's an elite, should be able to make a Garen, right? I think that's a four match losing streak. I think we started four and zero, oh, and then now we're four and four. I think. Yeah, he top decked a lot better than me. Yeah, like that's that's why we were playing Augmented Experimenter exactly Zufar. Like so, all of those turns, if we could have drawn an Augmented Experimenter, think of how great that card would have been at like killing a Fiora or just you know killing killing anything plus refilling my hand. Yeah, like yeah, you know, that's the whole reason why we're why we're splashing for Augmented Experimenter. But oh well. They got their one of bright steel formation, and then they got uh, their Garens and stuff. Yeah. And they also needed luck off of their their five drop that that did create the random elite. Because if it created a five plus mana elite, they would have been dead. Got your back. Well, I kept these three. I liked those three, but the three that we've drawn, unfortunately, not any good. Mystic Shot's probably my worst card in this matchup. We mulliganed one away and drew two more. We've had that kind of luck here with these losses. Mulliganed away a five drop. Draw three other five drops immediately. Honor guide 
me. So I thought if I just go Bannerman, they probably would have the four mana four three. Chump lump. So I didn't want to just do that because then I don't really want to attack my creatures into Chump Lump. I just wanted to try to get the three points in right away. Really can't. Really can't take advantage of that super early. Progress day. They get rid of this one. They got rid of a marksman. Feel the ship bite on an empty stomach. They got rid of a rummage. So big. Don't even think about it. Oh, dang, they're in trouble. Yeah, they're in trouble. All right, back in the wind column. There we go. Back in that win column. Five and four. Let's get this last one finished with a winning record. <laughs> Winning's always better than losing. True, true. Okay. This can be a tough matchup. So we're not we're not super fast. They can stabilize, gain a whole lot of life. You know, like karma is just so powerful. So I kept, usually we would probably like get rid of the Lancer from our opening hand, but I basically kept Lancer because it's, you know, it's like a two for one. You like, whenever they kill Lancer, we get a new elite. And so I wanted, I wanted to keep it in that respect. The order rewards its faithful. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. 
I will play my part. For the glory of Demacia! Let them eat so. Try me. Well, Darkwater Scourge means I can't attack. And obviously they have the death mark also, why not? Yeah, Demacia is probably like my favorite region, just in general. Um, I like it quite a bit. As far as favorite champions, I like Teemo. Um, thing is like i kind of like appreciate almost all of the champions but like timo and nivia i don't know yeah i think ash is really good i do think Ash is very good. And it is very good against, yeah, big mid-range stuff, for sure. The problem with Ash decks, for the most part, are... Um, The problem with with Ash decks are are the control decks and like the Karma like these like basically the the deck that we're playing against right now. This is what is going to be the problem for Ash decks. This deck's very popular and it's very good. But yeah, the beefy mid-range stuff, Ash is awesome against that. Um, the and that's what we did earlier with the Frozen Challengers. You know, like that was like an Ash version of this deck, Ash with Frostbite spells and stuff like that. Um, we lost to like the, the two Karma decks we played in the Heimerdinger deck, and then went five and two against the other stuff and against like the aggros and mid-ranges. We went five and two. I felt like it could have been better than that as well. I'm just playing all those Frostbite cards. Um... Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Can you stomach this? I bigger. Today we turn Playing all those frostbite cards that, that are just kind of dead cards in these these matchups. That's gonna be the tough thing. I, of course, can't just go... I can't play Bannerman pre-combat because I could have Ruination. No suffering, so we may end it. They can still have Ruination. So I need to pass. I 
they can no longer have ruination. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. Um yeah, I don't think it's a good I don't think it's a good place to use back to back cuz I I play it then they just play Grasp the Undying or Withering Whale. They, their deck has a a million life gain cards. I don't think that it was a good place to play back to back before anything else. My wisdom is now my strength. So three, four, or let's see. Charge! We will not hesitate! Run them through! Aha! All right, so they're going to have to act first. So yeah, if I would have tried to back to back, they would have just wailed. Oh yeah, Thresh. Yeah, I like Thresh too. Thresh is a, is a cool champion. Yeah, Thresh is real good. That's a good pick there, Slowbo. So this is still me having lethal. Wait. Six and four. Good record. Good record here. Six and four and You know, finish six and four, and uh, you know, lot like the games that we're losing were pretty close for the most part. So yeah, definitely a, a good version. We didn't get to do too much cool stuff with augmented experimenter, honestly. Like, there's only two in the deck, so it's it's really like just a a way to help your your late game um, your late game problems because that's that's the problem with these Demacia decks is those control decks once they get ahead you can't. Or, you know, like if they start stabilizing, you you don't have the card draw, and that that's what this is supposed to help with. And and so I that's why I actually kind of like that. I like that we have augmented experimenter and we get to, you know, like we didn't top deck it, you know, in one of those games that we lost that we played a really long game. We didn't draw our top end at all. But that's also just going to happen. You don't always, but I can definitely see this helping us win at games that we wouldn't have otherwise. Um, and yeah, the Mystic Shot was pretty good. So having Mystic Shot was pretty good too. So I liked this version. I liked this version of Demacia quite a bit. I think it, it felt really good. Um, yeah, Bannerman Zed is is very, very good. It's very, um, very consistent and everything. But like this is the kind of deck that I think would be good against Bannerman Zed. Like I think... Like if Bannerman Zed gets more popular because you you're just going a little bit bigger with your Bannerman deck, you know, having Laura Protege and Fiora and like these barrier spells and stuff. I like how this mat this deck would match up against them. Yeah. So basically, I, I really like how this deck feels. But of course, you know, you don't you don't always win every game you play. All right. So there we go. That's our third Demacia deck. We got one more to try. We're trying Shen for the very first time up next. To those of y'all watching on YouTube, please hit that like button and leave a comment. I would really appreciate both of those. Those go a long way. Um, yeah, so hit that like button, leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Augmented Dem Demacia, and I'll see you for the next video.